I've never considered if I want to stop dancing or not. It's always even dance or die. And Ahmed means what he says. For him, dance has been a mission ever since Islamic State militants entered his city on the outskirts of Damascus in 2015. The civil war in Syria had already destroyed his home and killed five members of his family. When the extremists threatened to kill him if he continued to teach children dance, dance or die was his answer, tattooed on the neck, just where the jihadists wanted to drop their sword. When I dance, I feel free, I feel complete. I feel I exist and that's the feeling that I would fight for. So if we don't keep our culture in our country for what are we fighting? What are we saving? His story impressed the director of the Dutch National Ballet who helped Ahmad move to Amsterdam where he's currently studying. On World Refugee Day he performed at the European Parliament, a moment that he used to send a message to other refugees in Europe. Let's learn and learn more, as much as we can. Let's gather the experience, because one day our country will be free and will be in peace, and it will need us to build it. So this is our mission all. So thank you everyone for having me here. It's a